Good afternoon. Well, as a marketing representative from the Honduras Tourism Board, I would like to know how many of you have heard about Honduras before, obviously, the event in the ICD. Can you, could you raise your hand? Okay, now, how many of you have heard of Honduras as a tourism destination? Okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm always doing this uh, marketing intelligence just just to know firsthand mm -hmm. in these uh, countries if you have heard about our country, and that's good. I'm gonna talk a little bit about our main tourism products, but I also want to show you some of the new products that we are launching this year, and uh, the importance of this product has in our tourism towards sustainab sustainability. Well, my colleagues before me uh, t tell you about where is Honduras located, so I'm just gonna show you in, in a map. And then I'm gonna talk about the things that I hope you already have heard about Honduras. For instance, I hope you have heard about uh, uh, that Honduras has a privileged location. We, have, we are right in the heart of Central America and we have um, right between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, there we have amazing beaches, tropical jungles, we have 1,500 miles of Caribbean coast in the northern side of Honduras. We have also crystal clear waters in the Caribbean. And from north to south, Honduras is blessed with natural and cultural assets that make our country an attractive tourism destination. In the northern coast, we have the best coral reef in the whole Mesoamerican reef system, which is the largest in the Americas and the second largest in the world. Our Bay Island has uh, clear, the clearest waters and some world-class diving. I don't know if anyone here is um, party certified for diving, but we have one of the cheapest places in the world, Utila, where you can get certified and some world-class diving there. Honduras is also the cradle of the invention of chocolate. Um, the first, um, the earliest evidence of the use of cacao as a drinking beverage was found in Puerto Escondido in Honduras. In the western part of the country, we also have uh, the Mayan civilization. It's called Copan Ruinas, our archaeology site. And there we also have, in our country, the second largest rainforest in the Americas after the Amazon. That is called La Mosquitia. I don't know if you have heard about it. So as you can see, our tourism industry offers uh, a lot of uh, tourism products that combine many market niches with several projects committed also to sustainability and responsible tourism development. We were leading in the um, Central America region with a project with UNICEF to prevent commercial sexual exploitation of children, for instance, and we have uh, have had a lot of projects towards responsible tourism and also sustainability. Last year, we have a special visit because we are now sign signatories of the Global Code of Ethics for Tourism. Many of our associations and also uh, business in Honduras have signed this, this code and Honduras is now part of the um, of the signatories of the UNWTO Golden Tourism Book. Yes, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Some other quick facts that I wanted to share with you is, uh, well, our population, the size of our country that you can see there. We have also four main international airports and there are some of the airlines that we have flights from Honduras. There is what I was telling you about, Andres Signatory of the United Nations World Tourism Organization Golden Book. And we have also a lot of projects that show how tourism is important for our country in terms of social, economic, and also cultural aspects. Um, 
Celia was mentioned, uh, was mentioning before that um, coffee is responsible for 3% of our GDP, while tourism is responsible for 6%, 6% of our GDP. So we contribute a lot to uh, employment and also the revenues the, for the country. Some of Honduras in the news. As you can see, we have uh, been listed uh, in many uh, important and prestigious magazines such as Forbes, Travel and Leisure, and other important publications and sites like TripAdvisor, BBC, and CNN. And this is not paid publicity. And I'm telling you firsthand that as a marketing director, we don't have the budget to pay for this uh, type of advertisement. So all this work comes from our private sector tourism businesses that are promoting themselves and from the people that is liking our beaches and everything that we have to offer. Well, amongst all of Central America, Honduras has the highest number of identified tourism attractions in the region. We have archaeology, we have living cultures, we have beaches, diving, nature, and also colonial sites. So as you can see, we have all the, the main attractives that have been identified in our region. We are now trying to promote uh, more of our tropical nature. About 40% of our country land is rainforest, from lush vegetation to mangrove forest and untouched jungle. Honduras is home, like I said before, to the second largest botanical garden in the world and the largest virgin tropical rainforest in North America. La Mosquita is listed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. Over 24,000 square kilometers of jungle, forests, and waterways have been preserved in our country, harboring countless plants. 20% also of our territory is protected areas. We have 20 national forests and parks where the visitor can discover a pristine venues, zip lining, rafting, bird watching, hiking, and much more. Since uh, 2015, we are uh, promoting with some conservation product, projects the avitourism. And birding is increasingly becoming a popular tourism attraction in many parts of our country. We have trained a lot of uh, special uh, guides that now live from uh, this activity. And most of them have not only this year booked, but the next year also they have already booked tours for people in the UK, US, and other parts of Europe. Honduras is making a bet in this market niche so it can become a tourism magnet as uh, at the same category as a scuba diving or, for instance, archaeology. Why is this market so important? Because uh, um, many of our tourism attractions are in uh, the northern coast or in the west of Honduras. And, Many of these businesses are um, foreign-owned or um, are from people that have been working in the sector for a very long period of time. Uh, Avitourism is a new activity, and it can be developed in many parts of a country, bringing income to many of the communities that haven't been a main tourism destination before. We have more than 770 bird species that have been identified. Many of those are bird of interest in that are regional endemic species that come from uh, North America or South America, and Honduras is a point of un encounter for, for these species. In archaeology, well, we have the city of Copan Ruins that is known worldwide as a uh, declared UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1980. Uh, its massive temples and expensive ruins are the crowning artistic achievement of the Maya civilization and is considered to be one of the, the greatest of the classic Maya city states. I hope that you have heard about Copan before. Well, our Bay Islands are our most known assets. It's located in the northern part of the country, have the one of the clearest waters in the world. Um, along with 500 miles of Caribbean beaches that we have in, in, in our territory. 
We also have a strickling black sand beaches along the Gulf of Fonseca. And between these two oceans, we also have a wealth of rivers, waterways, and lakes where the visitor can find white water rafting and kayaking opportunities. Another thing that uh, I like, I, uh, well, I added to this presentation because I think that is very important to mention is that uh, in 2012, um, we found this uh, unique dive site that is called Capiro Banks in the North Coast, was declared recent, recently as a marine protected area. And there, divers can get a glimpse of what the Caribbean Reef looked 30 years ago. Scientists are investigating and making studies about these sites because the reef there has an amazing 69% live coral cover. I don't know if you know, but the average of, of cover in the reef at the Caribbean now is about 20%. So 69% is a very high a very high coral cover, and scientists are investigating why this is happening in this part of Honduras, what makes this reef different from uh, the ones in Mexico or Belize, so they can find, find out how to restore and uh, preserve other parts of the reef in the Mesoamerican area. Finally, we also have living cultures along the side of the North Coast. The Garifuna communities make an amazing cultural experience. They have this heavy drum beat, chanting music, genuine dances, and culinary traditions. I don't know if you, I think you are too young to have heard this maybe, but we have a very famous song that came from the Garifunas that is called Sopa de Caracol. And all these traditions were brought by, to the New World by their African ancestors. Along the Lenca Trail, indigenous people of all centuries of all traditions for farming, cooking, and arts. And the traditional Lenca culture can be recognized for their style of dress, bright colors, and woven head scarves. We also have two main uh, cities that we are promoting for the business events and conventions. Tegucigalpa and San Pedro Sula combines the charm of colonial town with a modern city. They boost with cultural and natural attractions and sub top high quality hotels and great restaurants. This is an industry that is recently opened, uh, but we hope that we can brought more um, tourism business uh, for conventions and uh, seminars and associations to this city so we can uh, show a little more of Honduras. That's a picture of our famous dolphin encounter in Groton. And that's all about Honduras tourism. Thank you.